everyone, it's Kaylee, and today I have a 2015 yearly favorites for y'all. I have a lot of beauty products, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to start with like how I would put it on my face. So I'm going to start off with the primer. And this one's really weird, but it's the Nivea Postman Post Shave Balm for men. I saw Nikki Tutorials talking about this, and I was like, okay, if she says so, I'm going to try it. I tried it, and what she said is so true. My skin looks so flawless all day when I wear this. Like, usually when I wear a foundation, like, midway through the day or so, uh, if I'm not wearing a primer, the makeup, you can definitely tell, starts wearing off. You can start, like, it starts, like, breaking up and, like, stuff like that. That's why I always like to use a primer. And this one, this one's good stuff. I love this primer. Um, so, yeah. This has definitely been my favorite. I use like the professional like in my T-zone area and I use this one underneath that and I love it. It's definitely like changed my makeup game. Like it, my makeup looks so much better when I use this. So I love this product. For foundations, I think this year was the year for foundations. I think so many great foundations came out. Like the formulas have changed in them. I feel like where they're just so much better than what they used to be. So the first one I want to talk about is the MAC Studio Water Weight Foundation. And this is just kind of similar to the um, to the Cover FX drops. Um, when I saw this, it was new at MAC, so I was like, okay, I want to pick it up. This is like something that MAC usually doesn't do. is like a non-full coverage foundation, so I wanted to try it out. And when I tried it out, I know you have to like mix it with something. I actually mixed it with like the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Changed, changed my life. My skin looks so nice when I wear this. Um, MAC makes a great color range foundation for me as well because I'm very pale. So MAC always does a really nice job like because they have a really pale shade. So this is NW13, which is so sad, but yeah, my skin is so pale. And I just mix it with a concealer. I love this. It lasts all day. This is such a high coverage foundation like you, Earth Concealer. I put one pump and then I'll put like a squirt on my hand, mix it up, put it on my face. Obviously, it's beautiful on the skin, so I definitely recommend this. My next foundation I want to talk about is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I love this foundation. When this came out, I was like, okay, Too Faced always comes out with some great products. I love Too Faced. They have so many, like, great palettes, like the Chocolate Bar Palette. Like, that's one of my all-time favorite palettes. So, I was like, I know that Too Faced is going to do a great job with this foundation, and they did. That's no joke. I love this. It stays on my skin really nicely. Um, it definitely like a medium coverage, I'd say, but it's definitely buildable. It always looks so flawless on the skin. I love this. I couldn't talk good enough about this. Like this is one of my top foundations as well. And for my last foundation, I want to talk about the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. They reformulated this year, and I personally never tried just the HD one, but I know that this is amazing. I love this foundation. I know a lot of people have trouble with it making their skin oily. It doesn't make me oily whatsoever. It makes my skin look really nice. I always get compliments when I wear this as well. So like I love foundations that like obviously you're going to be able to tell I have foundation on because like you're going to know but you really can't see the foundation on my skin. So I really like that about this product. It just gives a really nice coverage but still makes you look like natural and not super cake face which cake face is not cute. Not cute. Next we can talk about highlighters and I have like three highlighters that I'm really obsessed with and the two are the Becca Skin Perfectors, Shimmery Skin Perfectors. I'd say Becca as a brand was a 2015 favorite. I loved a lot of things that they came out with like their um, their liquid um, highlighters, um, the collaboration they did with Jaclyn Hill and Champagne Pop. Like this is an amazing highlighter. Um, this is Moonstone I tried opal. It's just a little too dark for my skin, so I couldn't use that one. 
but I love their highlights like they're definitely not for someone who wants a subtle highlight these are definitely like an in your face glow I have both of them mixed on my face today I love them um so yeah those are like my go-to like every time I put highlighter on even though I have quite a few I always go for my Becca ones because they're my top they're my top they're my rider eyes like I love these and then for my next one, this is for more like my no makeup makeup days, like if I'm going to work or just like running around and I don't put a full face of makeup on. I love to use the Girl Meets Pearl by Benefit. This is such like a natural dewy glow where it's super subtle. It looks like you're glowing within more than like pop, you know. <laughs> so I love this as well for like more like my natural days. So yeah. I like this. It looks really nice with like BB creams or like you can even like mix it in with your foundation. Like I've done that as well before too. And then put like a highlighter on top but I really like that as well. So that's definitely a nice product. My next one I want to talk about is a blush and this is Milani's Bake Blush in Luminoso. I'd say this is my favorite because the glowy dewy look was so in this year. And this blush is beautiful because it's a nice summer and winter look. Like used to, you didn't want to look glowy in the winter time. I feel like that's totally changed. I feel like everyone wants to be glowy now. Like it's definitely like the in trend for makeup. So I love this. I definitely used it more in the summertime. But now that it's winter, I didn't stop using it. I still do use it. So that's why I picked this one, and I love the Milani Bake Blushes, period. I think they're really nice and pigmented and really nice blushes for the drugstore. So, sorry I'm sniffling. I'm a little sick. So, my next favorite is my Hourglass Bronzer and Light Bronze. I love this. I can't, couldn't talk good enough about it. This makes you look like you just got from the Bahamas and like, your skin this makes your skin look beautiful I love the way it looks I saw Alex Garza wearing this and I was like okay like I need this in my life it's such a beautiful powder it's so finely milled like it's so easy to blend this is just so nice and like it's really hard to get carried away with it because it's such a light like glowy look and like you can blend it out so easily so I love that about it it's so creamy and the hourglass powders in general like all of them are really nice from their blushes bronzers like their ambient powders they're all really nice but the bronzer is my all-time favorite so so next we can talk about lip products and 2015 was definitely like a lip product year for me um <laughs> when i was in high school i didn't wear a lot of lipstick just because like i thought people like judge me or something if i wore it but now I'm just like, I don't really care. I don't really care because I love lipstick. So the first thing I want to talk about is the Jordana um, lip liners. These are super creamy and super cheap and super affordable. Um, they come in a really good color range too. So like you can find multiple different ones. And that's really nice that they're a really good price because that way you can buy like multiples. You can buy like red, a brownie, a nudie, like a pinkish nudie. Like you can buy all different colors in them. But my favorite color is tawny. This is such a good one. And it goes with like um, a lot of my lipsticks I have too because I definitely like that like mauve like the Kylie Jenner, I guess you could say like lip color. So Tawny's my favorite, but the line in general is really great. They're really creamy, and they're really affordable, so that's really nice. Um, another drugstore, another drugstore product actually is the Maybelline's the um, Matte Collection. These are amazing. Like the, they killed it with these lipsticks because they are so creamy, so pigmented. They're not drying on your lips at all, which is really hard to find in a matte lipstick. So this one's in blushing pout and another one of my favorite is a spice like touch of spice I think it might be touch of spice I think it might be from this line as well I have that one as well but this one's just more of like a pinky color and they're all really nice so I recommend these my next favorite would have to be the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks this one's in bow and arrow 
I love these. They stay on all day long. Like you can put it on and like an hour later you look at your lips and you still have like all like all your lipstick is there. Like after you eat, after you drink. Like I, we went to New York City and I think we stayed there the whole day and I reapplied this twice. And that's like, you know, like with eating, drinking a lot of coffee, everything. Like this is such a nice lipstick and it stays on so long. So the next couple of things I have to talk about are my liner and mascara. And Benefit has to take the win with my mascara. I use this all the time. I get compliments all the time when I wear this. It makes your lashes so long and so thick as well. So the Benefit Roller Lash was definitely my favorite for this year. It came out like, I think at the beginning of the year maybe. I'm not exactly too sure. But as soon as it came out, like I ran to Sephora and got this because I had gotten a sample like prior to when it came out. And I was like, on a long time and it's super affordable, which is really nice as well. So for the last three things I have, they're all palettes and one's a contour palette. This is definitely... The Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This is a beautiful palette. The powders are really nice, super blendable. I love this palette. Um, yeah, I feel like this was super popular this year, so I'm sure everyone's heard a lot about it. But I love the shades. Like, they're really nice. Like, you could use them as bronzers on the face. You can use them for definitely contour powders as what it's supposed to be for and eyeshadows they're really nice for eyeshadows as well like that's what I use this one for because my skin will never be that dark for me to ever even think about using that so yeah I really like this and for my next two they're both eyeshadow palettes and the first one is the Carly Bible palette by BH Cosmetics this is an amazing palette like I can't even believe this thing's only $12 like it's amazing you get four highlighter shades um, you get, and then you got all these eyeshadows, which are really nice. They're really pigmented, like so pretty as well. They're so pigmented. They're so easy to blend out. I wasn't expecting like the best quality things because it's BH Cosmetics. It's a $12 palette. Like how great can it be? It's amazing. I love this palette. Carly, she killed it. Like I love this. I can't even believe this is almost like, I think it's $12. So Go pick this up on BH Cosmetics. Like, it's really nice. And my last product. Well, actually, I have two more after this. Whoops. My last palette, I guess you could say, is definitely the Tartlet Palette by Tarte. This is just a bunch of matte colors. This came out at the beginning of the year, I do believe. And when it came out, my favorite palette. I love this. Like, I would just... I don't know, like, I love mauve purpley colors on my lids. I think it looks really nice with my really fair skin tone. So, I love this palette. Tarte eyeshadows are super easy to blend out, and they're pigmented. So, yeah, I love the Tarte lit one, and I think they just came out with, like, a new one. I think they just came out with a new one, and it's called Tarte lit in the Bloom, and I want to try that one out as well, because that one looks really nice. But that's all I have for today. So thanks so much for watching, y'all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so y'all can know my schedule. I'm going to be putting out like one to two videos a week. I'm not exactly sure like what day they're going to be, but I'll definitely keep y'all posted on that. So make sure you comment and like this video just so I know y'all liked it. And thanks for watching.